We are back. So we are going to get into bar charts, pie charts, parametric plots, parametric 3D plots, and then we'll uh, take a break before we get into air bar plots. So bar charts are useful. Um, they're not, I mean, they're especially useful, especially in terms of like a bioengineering context. You'll see them a lot. Engineering, not too often, but um, let's go again. Let's see how we can work with bar charts. So whenever you're using a chart or histogram or things that are, are not plot, you're going to use chart and chart style. So let's just do simple um, let's go from table from I goes from I from 1 to 10 uh, and then let's plot so this gives me my bar chart um, I could change chart style so I could do chart style let's do a rainbow let's do rainbow is this odd well first off you have to spell it correctly rain oops excuse me here Rainbow, we could do that, that's fantastic. I could also do, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of temperature plots. Um, so temperature, all those good things. So um, we can go ahead and we could actually even start to label um, our bar chart. So I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna copy this here because I don't wanna do too much. Um, and I'm not gonna go to 10 because I don't wanna make 10 uh, labels, but I could do, for example, chart labels chart labels and I could do here and then I could do one you know t1 comma t2 comma t oops comma t3 so I can label essentially that x-axis there um, I could also create a legend so I could do again uh, I think it's chart again so usually we'd say plot legends right and then auto see it's red that kind of tells you automatically this is not the correct function there so again chart let's do chart legends and let's do automatic let's see here and voila you could also do chart legends and then we could just copy this right here as well so we could do as such so you can do that as well um, you could even do a bar chart uh, let's do Let's take it from here. We can do bar chart 3D. Voila! So you can do lots of cool kind of uh, tricks and tables and bar charts. And again, bar charts can be useful. Um, so it just depends on again what you're studying, what you're working with, and you know how that's doing so. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's do our pie chart. So pie chart, we could do the same thing chart and then you know we all kind of hopefully know how pie charts work so let's do table table i i from 1 to 10 like such so again i could do chart legends automatic and i could do that i could do it from 1 to 20 and it'll <laughs> get the lot uh and again you can kind of see those different colors i could do chart style let's do temperature again like that uh, and so you can kind of start to see and visualize those values so that's pretty fun um, so we could do chart legends automatic um, you can also do uh, some actually really cool things as well so for example this is kind of a nice funky um, I can make essentially a table uh, let's go ahead let's do random integer Let's go from 0 to 5, and I want I want 10 of these values, and then I want this process to repeat, uh, let's just do 5 times. So I have basically these multiple data sets, so I can actually do pie charts within pie charts. So for example, ooh, very vis visually pretty. I'm not sure how useful it is, um, but uh, pretty cool little like spirals and legends and those things there. Uh, and then again, finally, I could do a pie chart 3D. Actually, let's do a pie chart 3D. Let's see how this one looks. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> again, sometimes a lot of these plots, again, uh, I mean, again, they're, they're useful things. Um, in your in-class activity, you'll see how, uh, how they can be useful. But uh, again, sometimes plots are just, you know, useful to be plots. Um, and then finally, we're going to get into parametric plot and parametric plot 3D. So um, here we're plotting uh, basically 
X and Y coordinates simultaneously. Um, it's similar to basically like a trajectory prop, uh, plot. So let's do parametric plot. Um, let's go ahead, let's define two functions. So we're gonna define, let's go ahead. We can do, actually, let's just do one function right now. So what we need to do is um, we need to plot basically X and Y coordinates like as a function of some variable time. So let's do cosine of T and let's do arc cosine of T. And then we'll plot that for t goes from 0 to, actually, let's just do minus 2 pi to 2 pi. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to put this. Um, so we can start, actually, let me go ahead. Let's go from 0 to pi. Parametric plot. Let's go from here to here. And we could start to see where that's where that's going. Actually, I'm going to do our cosine. I'm going to do sine. There we go. Um, let's go minus 2 pi to 2 pi. And let's do, multiply this by 2. Oops, let's not do that. Um, so that's one plot. And again, we could do all of our good, our cool you know, plot legends. And then you could do another cool one called expressions. So you could plot uh, our plot legends as such. Um, so we could go ahead and do that. Uh, and there we go. So. Um, we could also now do multiple plots in the same one. So let's go ahead and add a couple functions here. So I could add, for example, uh, let's do two times cosine of t and then sine of t. Oops, I need to close that. See, when I didn't close it, it's, see, I get a red error bar there, a red error message, and then I get this here. So I could do this, I could add a phase shift, for example. You could do lots of kind of cool and fun stuff. You know, plus pi divided by two. <laughs> that can give something very strange. But again, you can kind of start to see what you're gonna play around with. And this plot legends expressions is a nice one to do. But again, still not as nice. That's why I would still suggest, you know, in Mathematica, go ahead and uh, pull it out. So last one. Um, while we play around, uh, let's do parametric plot 3D. I want to do a cool, um, uh, basically, if you're hungry for donuts this morning in class, this will uh, spark your imagination. 3 plus cosine of t, uh, and then times, excuse me, times sine, actually, of uh, t, and then I'll do z, sine of z, comma, and then we're gonna do, excuse me, four plus three, or four plus, let's say three plus cosine of, excuse me here, cosine of this, times cosine of z. Make sure I've got that one right. And then, so I've gotta have three. So you see here, I've got three values now. So four plus sine of, uh, basically t here. And I want to go from t goes from 0 to 2 pi and then also you see here I'm not done. See z is still blue here so I need to basically program that in. z goes from 0 to 2 pi as well. And I can plot that. Ooh! A ring! It's a nice ring. I'm gonna do plot style. Let's see if I can do temperature. Or I could do plot style, color, color data or color function, let's see. Function temperature map. Uh, that's not working, how about plot style? Let's just do tem temperature. Yeah, it's all kind of red there. Um, but we can also add one more function in here. So let's add one more and we'll have a nice, so eight plus uh, parentheses, actually I'm gonna copy this function I think we'd be able to adjust it just slightly and then I'll promise we'll end the video <laughs> so 8 uh, and then we want to go cosine 8 plus 3 cosine of t uh, times cosine of z 3 plus sine of t uh, 8 so 4 plus 3 uh, sine of t and that's it. Actually, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to swap positions here. 
So apologies. Oops. So actually, this is going to be three. Three plus sine of t, and then comma uh, four. Four plus three cosine of t sine of z, and this should be done with. Let's see if we get it. Voila! Woo! Nice. <laughs> so I can also just make it. Uh, you know, since it's we just got done with Christmas, red and green, or our holiday season. Yay! Or I can do it my blue and yellow, my high school colors, blue and yellow, for brawly. All right, that's it. So next time we're gonna get into air bar plots, and then uh, box whisker plots, and then contour, and all these other cool things, and then we'll get into it. All right, I will see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.